morning, everyone. We're out on the X3, doing some fishing. Charlie here, Mara's here, Sarah's behind the camera. We got some live bait, we got some dead bait. We're gonna see what we can catch today. Mutton snapper, maybe grouper, maybe permit. Just on the reef, summertime's coming. And uh, yesterday we went offshore with Andy and Derek and Conrad, fished them for a long time, 12 years. They're actually right over there fishing the boat behind us now, 10 man. Today's a new day and uh, we're trying to catch mutton snapper to start. I'm going to go from there, so stay tuned. Any bites, Sassy? I've caught one, I think one keeper mutton snapper my entire career of fishing, and it was not with Nick. <laughs> so you need another one today? Every time we, I am on the boat, it seems like we never catch muttons when we target. Today's oh, a new day. My bad luck. Oh. Oh, there's a bite. A bite. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, that's a mutton bite. That's a mutton bite there. Sure. Well, Charlie, do you have faith in us? I have pure faith in the mutton magic <laughs> on a so. Monday. It's a mutton Monday. Mm. And you went away. You might have got your bait. Might have missed him. Maybe crack, crack on it a few times. There. Oh. Might have been a small Like I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you had a bite. <laughs> Might have been a little baby one. Go get him, Sassy. We're ready to go. Not too fast. I want to eat it. Matt caught one. Matt's better than us. Here he comes, here he comes. He's tight to the bottom. Oh boy, we got trouble coming up on the stern here. You never know what's gonna happen when Matt's at the helm. Can Sarah go on your boat? Oh, you got the pink yeah. room. Yeah. Can Sarah yeah. go on your boat? Yeah. Sarah right, wants to go on your boat. <laughs> Get him, Sassy. Sassy's got him on. That's a big one, Sarah. That's a big one. Oh yeah. Get him, Sarah. Is it work on this thing? It'd be more dramatic okay. if it was No, on. you're good. You're good. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Charlie, what did I just tell Sarah? You said to check the bait, that the bait was gone. And, and apparently bad. it's not because she's got the big fish on right now. <laughs> That's true. Mutton magic come to fruition. <laughs> Look at this thing, fight. Probably a jack. Our mutton curse could be over if you get them, Sarah. 30 pound bottom rod paired up with a pen torque 60. We are got them on. We need this fish. What's it feel like, Sassy? Big mutton. Fish. Feels like the feels it like feels the mutton big, you're looking yeah, for. Bigger than Matt's. Big mutton. We need to. Matt just caught two nice good. muttons. Matt just came by. They got one smaller one, one nice one like Andy and his kids. And uh, this one's gonna. Matt and I fished together years ago. Hopefully the shark doesn't get them. Matt and I fished together for years, and also with Andy and his kids, so we watched them grow up the last 12 years. And Sarah has never caught a big mutton with me, and hopefully this will be it. We can scratch that one off the list together at least. Come on, sassy Sarah. Keep getting them. Keep getting them. Getting closer. A couple of any feet here. There you go. Just move that away from my head. Bring him up, bring him up. My head. We got, here he comes guys. I hope he didn't get sharked. Here it comes. What are we going to have here? Big mutton coming up you guys. Look at him coming. Nice mutton snapper. Yeah. Good job, Sarah. Yes. One for the girls. Take that, Matt. <laughs> We're Take on the board. <laughs> Look at him blowing up full of air. Holy moly. That thing is so full of air, you guys. <laughs> Matt gave us the signal of approval. Right in the corner of the mouth there though. Hooked perfect in the corner. Sassy got her mutton. So that's what it's about right there. Beautiful fish. Good job, Sarah. Cush it for the win. I got one. Sarah's on the board, you guys. Beautiful mutton, little blue line underneath his eyes. Full of air, all the scales are popping up. You can kind of see how his body's all puffed up. She whooped him. I said, Sarah, I don't think you got any bait. She said, Wait a second, bam, got him on. But nice fish. All right, let's get him in the box. We got one for the grill. 
I think since it's my fish, I want to make a uh, ceviche out of him actually. <laughs> we grow way too many fish. We need some more like ceviche sushi. Oh boy. What you got there, Nick? Uh, we got a big fish on the mini rod, you guys. I threw out a live pinfish because we're not getting bites in the normal rods. And I got on a nice fisher. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> I didn't expect to get a bite and we got a bite and we're tight. Light braid, just 15 pound braid here. Oh boy. Was not expecting to hook anything like this on here. We got one nice mutton so far, but uh, we have not been able to get another fish. We got something on now that's good size. No idea, it could be a jack. Hopefully it's a big mutton. Hopefully it'd be a big mutton here. Oof. He does not want to come up. Hopefully it doesn't get me in the bottom. Come on, come on buddy. Little spin fisher. Light braid on the fun rod. Ah. Could be a jack, could be a big mutton or a grouper. He's swimming around a lot. Hopefully it's not an amberjack. They're fun to catch, but I don't want one today. We want a mutton snapper. Shaking his head. Oh, oh, oh. Getting closer, guys. I think we're within 50 feet. The water's real dirty, so you can't really see. Sarah might have to dive down and investigate. There he is, we got color, guys. Please give us a big mutton snapper. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that mutton snapper. Giant mutton. Yes, on the mini rod. Yes. So cool, you guys. Absolutely awesome. Look at that. Was not expecting that, you guys. <laughs> He's gassed. Beast. That was awesome, you guys. That was fun. Was not expecting that. He has dead meat floating up. I was hoping it was a mutton the whole time. Sassy, can you grab him for me? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. On the mini rod right there. That is cool. I think it's bigger than mine. It is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun off on that? the Nick got one bigger than me. This is unheard of. <laughs> on the little mini rod. That was fun. Awesome. <laughs> Big yellowtail. Right. Big yellowtail, I think, Sarah. Big yellowtail. Yellow. Nice yellowtail. Good job. <laughs> but yours is bigger, bigger snapper. Big yellowtail than me. That's right. Beautiful yellowtail. Good job. Beauty. There we go. Yeah. Another yellowtail. Yeah. I was literally on the bottom too. Stud. No chum necessary. <laughs> chum makes the boat dirty, people. Yeah, it's picking up enough. Got another yellowtail. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Good job, Sassy. We weren't planning on catching yellowtail, but here we are, and they're nice ones. Um, Sarah's still winning us. She got three, I got two. But we'll take them. Good size. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll take them all day. Mara's about to catch one. It's coming. I'm waiting. Patiently. Guys, you will not believe this. We are hooked up again. Another big mutton on. We went and caught some yellowtails. And we're like, no, let's try one more drift for the mutton. No bites of normal stuff. Like, let me make one more cast with this. And I got them on. It's, it's got to be another big mutton. Uh, just light braid though, light leader. Little south winds picking up, so we're getting a little swell out here. Um, it's like two to three foot swell with a couple bigger ones. It's pretty funny that the mini rod is getting tight on the muttons. You just gotta take your time though. You can't just horse them in because you'll break the line or break the leader. We don't want that. But please stay on there. We got a handful of yellow tails a little while ago. One more mutton sure would be nice. Give everybody a nice sack of fish. And uh, I think we're gonna go try to collect some snails, it sounds like. Maybe some hermit crabs for our new fish tank. We got a 125 gallon fish tank that Sarah's been setting up with her brother Daniel. And uh, we're gonna go try to get some critters for that. Come on, buddy, buddy. Bu oh yeah, look at that one, guys. Another nice mutton. Yes! <laughs> on the mini rod, baby! Bean, thank you for the pinfish. Look at that. That's what it's about, you guys. On the little fun rod. 
it can be done. Big fish, small rods. That's what we love to see. We're having fun now, guys. You guys just saw it. Nice mutton snapper on the mini rod. We have kids' rods that are just like this. If you guys want to have some fun with a light tackle rod, go check out the website, stansfishing.com. You know, you can have a lot of fun catch good fish on them. What we Sarah, what are we doing? We're at a secret location and we need to get turbo snails and blue leg hermit crabs for the aquarium and this is a hot spot for them or it was last time i was here so i'm gonna jump out with my yeti cup and fill it up with some snails and hermit crabs for the aquarium get me closer though <laughs> nope get in the water no it's too deep i want to go back up there where you had me collecting snails is it cold or warm no it feels good Wrong. Oh. No, that's one. That's a blue leg hermit crab. That's what we want. A blue leg hermit crab. Blue leg crab. In the Yeti cup they go. Yep. yep. See the little blue legs? Gold. <laughs> They're on all these little shells too. Swarming. The dive boat just winked us. So we survived. All the snails are going to come off the rocks. Charlie, don't leave us. Okay, bye. Don't leave us. I'll see All right, that's a good start. We'll come back and get some more later. <laughs> um, Sarah, what happened? Battle. Your dad called me. He said, oh. <laughs> Nick's dad just called me. He said, Sarah. I have people driving down from West Palm Beach and where's my crabs? And I said, I, what crabs? I don't know what you're talking about. We don't have any crabs on this boat that we took from your well. Like, come on. We got into my dad's secret stash just for a couple of hours. We didn't even, we didn't even use them though. We're putting them back. We're returning them because yeah. we got yelled at. We're putting them back. The ledge has spoken. Bring back my crabs. I was going to tell him that my brother <laughs> took them. How did my dad yeah. know we took yeah, his crabs? He, he told me, he said, count those. He said, count my Oh, yeah, crabs. That's right. Yeah, right there. Now over here. He, he said, count my crabs, so I did. He says, I have to take I, the rest of them. I told you to tell my brother. How many are in there? One, two, three, About four, six. five. All right, well, he's got six plus, he's like, I need 12. So now he's got at least 11. Yeah, he's got 11. We lost one. Don't tell oh him. Oh, my God. End of the world. <laughs> tell, him Ricky, tell him Ricky took him. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's the end of the world. Yeah, that's it. Good, guys. I took my dad's crabs, but I was going to try to send him a, a picture of a permit if we caught him with Sarah, because I knew he wouldn't be mad at her, but he'd be mad at me and yell at me. The bird is eating a snake right here, you guys. Old snake wrangler right here. Check it out. This is National Geographic right here. He's got a snake and he is eating it. The birds are hungry. Look at that. Holy moly. Don't see that every day. Oh! Oh! What she got? She got Mutton yeah, hang on, Vic. We got multiple muttonzillas. What? Yeah, on the mini rod. That oh. didn't come on peewee. On the peewee rod. No, it yes, didn't. Yes, it did. Honest to God. Come on. Two out of three. Two out of three, three on the peewee rod. I didn't like the big stuff. And some yellowtails. Y'all go. I see you all out there rooting around under. Yeah, we're getting edge some crabs channel. and uh, s s uh, snails for the aquarium. <laughs> yeah. Y'all huh. gotta quit. I didn't get to go today. Well, somebody got to work. Yeah, I got that one. Oh, yeah. another one in there. <laughs> Y'all got to quit. What do you think, Vic? That's how you roll. That's right. Run it like this. Today we're going to clean the scales off the fish, so we're going to try something new with it. Let's see how it works. Oh my God. It's in my mouth. They're going everywhere. I think one went in my mouth. They're going all over the place. <laughs> but look though. It works. Knocking it all does. the scales off there. Dude, we're going to grill this thing whole on the grill. Yeah. And all the scales are coming up there. Now you got to wash every boat next to you. <laughs> look at all the scales. Okay, so multi-purpose. You clean your boat and you can Four clean time. your fish with this. How's it looking? Good? Yeah, there's not a scale left on it. We're good? Bald. Look at that. We're great, huh? What do you think, Vic? 
Ah, uh, pretty good job. Palm shows right. the man. He knows about whole oh, fish. He's looking at the head. He's looking at the head. That's the side I just did. There's not a scale left on it. It's soft. You cook it whole and eat right off of it. And look at the other side. It took all those scales off. Look how thick they are. Blasted them off like it was nothing. Scales left. Nice. Yeah, oh, they're all over me. <laughs> That's Gross. a lot of scales. Yeah. You're scaly. Mm -hmm. Good job, Sadie. See? All the snails and hermit crabs. Ah! Oops. Sarah. Cup full of water. Go, put them in. Yay. Yay. Good job, baby. Ooh. They're coming out. Yeah, they're coming out. They don't like being upside down. Ooh, look at the little crab now you can see their little blue legs, though, really nice. Oh, boy. The grill. Vic's new present. There it is. Ready for delivery for Vic. It's a busy day here at Bud and Mary's. The parking lot is slammed full of cars. Most of the boats are fishing. I switched my trip to tomorrow because the weather looked a little better. Although today the weather's actually really nice, but it was supposed to be heavy rain and 15 to 20 knots out of the south, but it is only like six to eight knots and no rain yet. There's some rain scattered about, but the weatherman got us and that'll happen sometime. So somebody's just gonna wake up and see what it looks like in the morning. Anyhow, we got the Traeger grill right here. This is my old one and uh, we're gonna give it to Vic here. You know, Vic's been working here at the marina a long time. We got those mutton snappers with us recently. I gotta get out of the truck, though. It's heavy. Me and Frank put it in there. It should be easier getting out than in, but let's go find Vic, and uh, we're gonna cook up a nice mutton snapper that we caught yesterday on it today. Jeffrey, I brought Vic a grill. That's it? I brought Vic a grill. Well, give it to me. It weighs like 200 pounds. Well, I know, uh, we need to get Vic to get it out. Are you parked in front of the cook's house and he hasn't even come out to see it yet? Yeah, but this one's for Vic, so. Hello? We couldn't pull in front of the houseboat though. In the house. Oh, Vic, you thought I was going to unload that. I got me some cooking going on now. Did you think I was going to unload it too? No, I got my backup right here. All right, yeah, I got, got the right grill here, for kitty, you. I got kitty food. Look, you got look. cat food too? No, this bird seed. Oh, it's bird seed, okay. Just make the bird fly. All right, well, there's your They're grill. They're going to fly it in. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Good looking out. Hang Thank on. you, sir. You know what we're going to cook on it though? I got a whole mutton snapper right here. I want to smoke on there for lunch today. Okay. Can we do that? Oh, yeah. With we'll score them up. I got olive oil and seasoning. Okay, hook it up. And Let's I'll grill it. In. I know how to do it. I all know right. how to make it work. We'll do it together. We'll do it all good. It's all, all good. right. Let me get my crew. Holy Check out the man. snapper pond. Yeah, but we're gonna, we're, gonna have, we're, gonna, we're gonna cook snapper for look, lunch, look, right? Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. We're gonna grill it up for lunch, right? <laughs> yeah. All righty. <laughs> Nice mutton snapper right here. Pressure wash the scales right oh, up of them. No. For the barbecue. No. That one, this is easy. Remember the last one up the stairs? Yeah. Okay. Bajo, no helping. That's okay. Oh, look we'll at the power. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, the best. There you go. Wow. It's here. Hey. We didn't have to go. Oh, they, gave, oh, they gave you the heavy oh, end. Oh, the elbow's done. <laughs> yeah, they gave you the heavy end full of pellets. <laughs> but it's ready to roll. Oh, yeah, okay, the only way. Ready to cook a good meal. See? Oh, Alrighty. Nice. This is no Mickey Mouse. <laughs> no Mickey Mouse. <laughs> no, they, they give me the old one all the time, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Don't, break, don't break this one. No, I can't help that. You hungry? Not for that. <laughs> Where's Jimmy Boone? Where's your fearless captain? Oh, the elderly gentleman that works with me. Oh, off, off yonder, getting a... Uh... It finally... <laughs> 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 the weatherman did get it right, just a few hours later. But it's starting to rain now, heavy rain. Jordan's over there. They caught mutton snappers and groupers this morning. That's right. But it's looking rainy now, so they might not be going back out. Lots of storms out there. But we got a snapper to cook. Let's get him ready. Vic is super excited about the grill. Oh yeah, it's working. 
I hadn't used it in a few months since we got the new one at home, but let's prep this bad boy. We're good. Legendary. <laughs> Jordan's behind the camera, you guys. All we're gonna do is score this mutton snapper. I'm just gonna cut this and you know, we power power wash this thing. We pressure washed all the scales off of it. Let's see, we're gonna put a crisscross pattern on here. That way we can season the meat real good and easy. And you can just grab it. You can hear the rain coming down. It's gonna be good though. Jimmy Bowie is making a guest appearance. Yes, sir. There he is. Uh, Jimmy. Looking beautiful. We got a whole mutton snapper going on the grill. A whole mutton Now, Jimmy snapper. Boone is from the great state of Kentucky, representing Kentucky in the Bud and Mary's fishing fleet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotta get in all the little crevices. You like that. Oh, yeah. This will be good, Jack. Jimmy calls everybody Jack. I'm not sure why, but he just does. What's up, Jack? Not much. Now we're going old school with a fin and feather rub. Used to use it a ton, haven't used it as much lately, but we know it's still good, so. Oh, wait, look at that, getting it all in there. Magic spice. You tell you what we're gonna do, we're going for the heavy pour right here now, I guess. We're going big here. There we go. Let's get a little bit up inside here, too. Boom. Get in there nice and deep like. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna get a lot more. Uh, meat off this than you usually would if you fillet it because you get all the stuff in his throat and his head, his cheeks and all that good stuff. Finger food. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun a, picking. We're gonna have a picking fish here. There ain't no charcoal in here. This thing's all dirty. Let's put this thing over here. Same thing on this side. Boom. Just like that, rub it in. The oil will keep it from drying out and all that. This thing's gonna take a while to cook. I bet it's gonna be Probably, 30, probably 45 minutes, honestly. We'll check them though, periodically. Yeah, we're gonna be gone. Where are you going, fishing, Jack? Yeah. You we ain't, we ain't going on. fishing, Jim. I hope not. Jim, we ain't it's going. It's raining and stormy, you might get sick out there. Rest up, buddy. We'll see you in 45 minutes. We're at one hour, 146 degrees. They say fish is done at 145. I put the probe in just to be safe. I think it's done. We can get him up there. We don't have any spatulas. Oh, he is falling apart. Yeah. This is gonna be good. I know how to that boy. Yeah. I have a knife. Oh, that's a nice stuff too. Yeah, I put oil on him. Oh, he's falling apart. Oh, that's a good juicy. Yeah, I love juice. I don't have a spatula, but we're still gonna eat it. Pancho got it off with two knives. <laughs> Hot stuff coming through. We just brought the girl from home and I forgot to bring him a metal spatula. But it's gonna be here at the marina now. These guys will be cooking on it a lot. There'll be lunch on it, dinner on it. They might even cook breakfast on it, never know. So the presentation is not an A plus, but I guarantee it's gonna taste delicious. We're gonna find out that we got some hungry people here. Maybe get it all complete. It's more better. Eyeballs. Mm. Nick's gonna be mad. That's good. Eyeballs. A lot of juice. Juicy, huh? Yeah. You just spit the shell out, huh? This is the cover, the, the ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good. It's juicy? Yeah. I have a juice, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys just saw it. A lot of foam, my God, oh, coming down. That. Is it hot? It's just hot, but it's coming down. That's good. good. Yeah. 
rice is good. This already is cooking everything. Okay, good. All right. We're going to pull apart here in a minute and feast up. Ah, uh, he ate the eyeballs. <laughs> There's some hungry people here. We're going to go feed them in the taco shop. Juicy. I was worried I dried out, but I put the probe in there. Checked the old interweb. Google said 145. We got to 146, pulled it off. Let's go feed these people up front. You try a bite, see what you think. You won't work with Nick. Now we don't get the bones in there though, right? I don't know, I don't know where to go. I'm in the ghoul right here. That's juicy there. Tell us what you think. That's your new grill, Vic. Mm. Good grill. job, boss. Okay, there mm. you go. There you go. You gonna eat more of it? Okay. okay. I'm gonna go feed the people up front. Good. Hey, pretty good. Good, right? First time. First time with a head on. Oh yeah. They ain't looking at me no more. Nope. Poncho somebody got, got somebody got the eyeballs. Poncho got them both. <laughs> you guys, Wes from the expedition, he's trying it out there. Their hands and all. Uh, he was just cleaning. Uh, looks like he has whacked the yellow tails, huh? We yep. did. We did very well. Yeah. If you guys want to try a bite, feel free. Hope you don't mind the camera. That's yeah. really, really good. Where are you guys from? Georgia. From Georgia. Oh, it's good. Really good. Mm. He got to try a bite too. Because <laughs> you look like me. We'll tell fish stories. It's a little hot, but I that's good. I got to try it now. Oh, now Pete came for it. All right. That's really good, Nick. Not too bad, right? Oh, it's good. Okay. okay, good. Let's see what mm -hmm. Pete thinks. Man, that's delicious. It is? Oh, yeah. All right, good. Very good. Look at all these yellow tails these guys got. How many? We Down caught up? our limit today. Limit it out? Yep, yep, yep. It was nice. All right, good job. Not too hot. <laughs> but now it's raining now. If you were hot, it cooled you off. That's so. right. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling silly. I canceled my trip this morning. And then about 11 o'clock, that rain came. I said, all right, I'm glad I'm not out there 40 miles sitting in it. Ooh, you're not kidding so. about that. Good video that sign right there. Get a video sign of <laughs> Dylan on the B&M here. Yeah, there you go. He took his sign down for the storm, but it's going back up. He just got to get a stepping stool to get up there. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Dude, look at that mustache you got coming in, huh? I know. Zoom in. That's dirty. <laughs> look at that thing. Mm, bomb. Mm, bomb. Look at that mustache. <laughs> I used to have one, but I cut it off. <laughs> Josh, you look hungry. Yeah, what you got? Uh, you got to try a bite and tell us what you think. Mm, heck yeah. Oh, boy. We put it on the grill hole. It didn't come out as pretty as it could have because we didn't have a spatula, but we've got it up there with a couple of knives. I want to know what you're thinking. Be careful because the bones. Mm, perfect. You eat it? Mm hmm. Not bad? Not bad at all. You, great. Went, you went in with two hands. You knew it was going to be decent. <laughs> Real good. What did you guys catch today? Muttons and yellowtails? Muttons and yellowtails. One more. All righty. Thank you. All righty. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you, man. We're going to leave Glenn cleaning the fish, though. He's, he's working over there. I got fish for you to try. Don't think you're getting away without getting on camera. We'll what put it here. here Nick? The rain. Yeah, Nick, oh wow! We got whole month. It didn't come out as pretty as it could have. I didn't have a spatula to get up the grill, but look at the seasoning. Can we dig in? Yeah, dig in. I try a bite and see what you think. Let's see. Whole fish on the mm. grill. I brought the grill down for Vic, so we'll see what he thinks. 10 out of 10. No, come Absolutely. on now. Oh my God. Really good. <laughs> Very moist. He's selling it. Seasoning's it awesome. awesome. Good job, Nick. Oh my God. All right, if you guys want more, help mm, yourself. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Is Larry in there? I want Larry to try oh, Larry it. Larry will eat it. He says I never give him anything. He's in there. He's grazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on camera. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, no no problem. All uh, right, you guys smell the fish. You're going to go in for a okay, bite. Okay, what's the best yeah, part? Just, yeah, grab any of them. Just don't, you know, just be, there's some bones, but the bones shouldn't mm. be in there. Do you want to try a bite? That's for me. That's really good. That's because he's looking at you with his head, huh? Yeah. See, some people don't like that. What do you think, good? Really good. Moist, right? Fantastic. Right, yeah. Good. One another bite, feel free to grab it. Hmm. Is this seasoning right here? There's seasoning on the skin there, but you can eat the skin. We scaled it, so there's a skin and there's a tattoo. That's a good, that's a good you bite. You get a lot more, that's a nice bite there. You get a lot more meat this way. I don't cook a lot of whole ones, but mm. you get all the stuff that's, you know, in between all those bones there. Not bad? Really did you go fishing today? We did. With who? Fish daily. Did you catch fish? Hooked up on some big sharks. They did? Actually. Good uh, bite? Got a nice six, seven pound snook as well. Okay, good. Uh, fantastic. Well, good. Is Chris down there still? He's down there on his boat, yeah. Oh, he is? Yeah. I wish I could go harass Chris for a second. Yeah, for sure. Let's go give him a hard time. He's going to be on YouTube. It might be. Uh, Not yeah. today. He'll give us a little while. We'll get on eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Chris. We gotta get your opinion on the fish. What? I cooked a whole fish there. It ain't pretty, but it's good. Wanna try it out? 
Jake Ooh, sniffed it out too. too. Oh, it's just hot off the grill. Yeah, what is it? Terrible. Whole mutton snapper. I've never eaten one. You haven't eaten like this ever? Uh uh. Your whole life you fish, you never cook whole mutton on the grill. He's never caught one. Wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. Right? I've never caught one that big. Delicious. Well, you know who catches yeah. the biggest ones, right? Who? Oh, he'll, he'll, he'll tell you. <laughs> you don't know, he will tell you. Mm. That is really good, good though. That's terrible, dude. <laughs> it's terrible. Right. Wait, let me see if this part's any better. <laughs> Chris Delicious. is starving out here. Oh, yeah, feeding you. Your people said they had fun today. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Always a good time. Yeah, we look, got one. look, Nick bought on a macerated fish. What happened it, it to your fish? It didn't come off the grill good. We didn't have a spatula, so we had to use knives. <laughs> um, and it was hard no, to get one yeah, piece. But, um, yeah. but it still tastes good. Does it? Yeah, so we need your opinion to see what you think. All right. Thanks. Billy loves mutton snapper. That's my favorite. Of all the fish in the ocean, he says it's his favorite. Mm. Larry, I brought some for you too, since we... You got some swordfish? No, just mutton snapper. That is good. What? Did you, like it? Did you say... What do you think, Larry? Good the, yeah. Tastes good with that seasoning. Yeah. This is so good, Nick. Yeah, Billy delicious. keeps coming back for seconds. A third I'm going back for... I'm, I'm my trip. Yeah, he's just putting back up there. Do you approve, Bean? I approve. Bean good. approves, you guys. For there. a yeah. change, yeah. Nick didn't <laughs> overcook something. <laughs> I probed it. Yeah. It's probing time. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Wants to have some teethies on him, huh? All right, you're making a cameo. <laughs> they were eating it. He said it was good, you guys. This is delicious, is what it is. Mm -hmm. They got rained out from a tropical storm for a couple of days, but he got it the last couple of days. Yeah. Caught a couple of fish. Caught one or two. You want some mud? No thanks. I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to eat all the eyeballs. Do you want to taste it? Captain Glenn from the Gone Fishing Five. He catching muttons too. <laughs> uh, he caught muttons, groupers, and a bunch of y'all today. I saw mm -hmm. him out there. Mm. Not bad, that? huh? That's good. Mm -hmm. Not bad, right? For the first one we ever that did. Way all the time. Yeah. You do or you used to? Uh, you going to? I don't like looking at him. No, I don't like looking at him. <laughs> Poncho back, took your eye out. What he took both eyes out. He ate <laughs> the first he both eyes. I'm like, what? Not much left of it anymore. No, no. It, got, it got grease upon it. Just, just yeah. the bones. Cool. I thought pussy. Because mm, we, we would never get that. We would never get that cheek meat. Uh, no. Now you gotta tell us what you think of it too, and just be honest. If you don't like it, you tell us the truth. Mm, Can I be honest and tell yeah. you it's awesome? Is it good? Yeah. All right, good. This is good fish. The cheek meat. I've never had cheek meat out of a fish ever. It was the first time for everything. You could have had eyeballs, but Poncho ate both the eyeballs already. So. Who got them first? Poncho, Francisco. Oh. There's that immediate. You don't there, waste though. nothing, does he? No. You guys, that's all we got for you. It's time to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. If you guys want any merch, check out the website, stansfishing.com. And come down here and visit us at Bud Mary's Marina. Lots of boats here to take you fishing. So we're out. Poppy, tell them goodbye. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>